also no shame gang hey bitch it's your girl unapologetically me and welcome back to my kitchen so tonight guys i don't know if you guys noticed but i try to do the damn thing with the lashes and the eyebrows i was gonna put on some lipstick just to give y'all something special tonight but I can't find it because when my bathroom got tore up, I just start throwing stuff in bags and I don't know where it is. So anyway, I thought I'd do a little something, you know, throw some lashes on. But I don't know. This one feels like it wants to fall off. <laughs> so let's get ready to get into it. We cooking in the kitchen tonight and what tonight's dinner is going to be. It's going to be tater tot casserole, simple, easy, and good. Um, tater tot a salad, just a green salad, and some garlic knots. So let me get my apron. Hold on. And we're going to get right off into this video. Guys, I don't know when this lash is going to fall off, but when it do, it's just going to fall off. I don't care. Scary. Oh, God. I do care. <laughs> but, yeah. If it falls off, this one is on good, but this one feels, you know, it's tripping. So, let's get this on and let's get off into it. I started to put on some clothes and, you know, just look presentable. I don't feel like it. I work today. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Don't pull out the nine. <laughs> and we were busy, so. But one day, you know, I'm going to start doing that. But right now, I'm just, I just thought I'd bring out something a little bit more, you know. So, let's get the ingredients together. Let's get the oven on. We're going to get this turned on to... Bag. Make sure I ain't got nothing in it because sometimes I put my dishes in there to dry because I don't have, I mean, not to dry but to store because I don't have enough cabinet space. Okay, and this is a very simple casserole, y'all, and it's very good. And it has one, two, three, five ingredients. So let me get them. Guys, I got some, I got some di different uh, dishes coming. You know, instead of all the same old, same old, you know, I'm gonna, you know, tighten it up a little bit for y'all. So, I'm gonna bring y'all down here. Let's put y'all down here now. Come on, guys. I love y'all. Okay. We're gonna get y'all down here. Let me get this set up. We're gonna get y'all right here where y'all can look right down at it. Okay, the first ingredient is going to be tater tots. Then we also got, oh my god, let's get them. Well, let's move the pan for a minute. These are the ingredients you got, you guys. I'm sorry for the clean thing. You got your hamburger meat. You got your tater tots. Okay, here they go up here. You got your cheese. You got your cream of mushroom soup. And you got your green beans. And this is all that goes in the casserole, guys. This is it. So now what we're going to do, we're going to put this stuff together. Okay, now what I really want to do is I want to move y'all over here. And you'll catch a side view. We're going to do it just like that. Let me see what that's looking. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. So we're going to catch a side view. <clears throat> 
Yep. So let me give me some gloves on, guys. Y'all know when I, I really like to use gloves, especially when working with meat. And any kind of food that you're going to put in your mouth, but you got to do a lot of handling of it with your hands. Yeah, I really like it, but especially meat. So, first thing you want to do is going to crack this right on open. And uh, mind y'all, I got the, we're going to throw this in the sink for right now. Let's throw that right on over now like that. And we're just going to mash it out all into this pan. It's going to be a little thick. I started to do it in a skillet, but it ain't going to hurt nothing. Because y'all know ground beef swells, but yeah, that's okay. And this is, if you want to get that flat as you can. Okay. Okay, so after you do that, I'm going to rinse this. Y'all know I rinse. So I'm going to get this in the sink. I mean, in the tray. So I hope you guys had a good day today. I did at work. We were kind of busy. So, yeah, but I enjoyed myself. I hope you guys, you know, been doing good and everything like that. Let's get this cheese working over there. I don't like that. That ain't no good look. So, now what we want to do, y'all, we want to season the meat. Actually, I'm just going to go to Old Faithful. I'm just going to go to my... I use this on everything. Tony Chichiros. I guess that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. Okay, we're just going to sprinkle some. Yeah, just like that. You don't want to get too heavy with it, though. But I think that's enough. Okay, so now what we want to get on here... It's going to be, y'all, this stuff going to make me sneeze. Every time I work with this seasoning, it makes me sneeze. Now what we want to do. I used to have an electric can opener, but I gave it to my neighbor upstairs. She was, yeah, she probably had it because she, you know, she, she takes, she has a lot of nice stuff, you know. But I gave it to her. So now I got this. Y'all, that's seasoning every time. When I had my son, he knew when I was in here cooking because as soon as I get that uh, Creole seasoning out, oh my God, it just makes me sneeze. Y'all, I don't put that in the video. But of course, I don't sneeze on my food. Okay, so. Really, I want to put this on there. But I'm not. It's just too, doing too much. So we're going to go on and open up all both of these cans because we just need to. And then when you get to the green beans, you're going to just drain that juice out just like that. Yep, just like that, guys. Just like that. Okay, I'm gonna get a knife for that. So now what we're gonna do? Ugh. Jesus Christ. Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. Y'all know I got acid reflux. Don't trip. What we're gonna do? This paper. We gonna. I don't be liking all that. That be looking like an eyesore to me. But, yeah, we're going to move them. I just don't like it. This is my water. Okay, guys, so now what we got to do, we got to get the cream of mushroom soup. Right in here, you just can throw it right in the middle. 
my sister, she introduced me to this a long time ago. It's so good, guys. I mean, it, you can't go wrong with this. This is amazing. Then what you want to do... You're gonna take this spoon right here and you're just gonna spread it all around just like that I think I'm supposed to put the green beans on first but anyway I'm gonna pop this on up I was I was supposed to put the green beans on first but I don't think it really matters. It's gonna all be good. And what you do, you're gonna get that just like that. Yeah. Y'all yeah, supposed to put the, you put the green beans on first. Remember that. That really don't matter because it's gonna all, all come out looking like this. Okay, I should have got two cans of green beans because I'd be liking a lot, but you, you, you can overdo it. You don't wanna overdo it. So I'm gonna show y'all how the original recipe. And you just move all this over like this, like so. It's very easy and simple. Very easy and simple. Very easy and simple and very good. Getting down to the good part, guys. The cheese. Now I go crazy when it comes to I go crazy when it comes to cheese, guys. Y'all know that because I love it. But not more than God. And I don't be when I say that, that's not a joke. When I say that, I mean that. So get into it. Let's wipe this off. I at least want it looking decent. I don't want it looking all messy. Yeah, let's do that. So what you just want to go down through here, you want to just layer this cheese like that. Just like that. And if it, a man is going to overlap because I like a lot of cheese, so... Be ready. Be prepared for that. Cheese makes everything taste better. It really does. I think so. So we're gonna do this. You like three layers. Gonna go on and heat it up just a little bit more. You know, I just love cheese, guys. You can't go wrong with it. My app out there, girl, that is too much. Mind your business, honey. I ain't trying to be rude, though, but y'all know. Yeah, two layers of cheese. And then there goes that, but I have been using that cheese, so it's not like I used the whole 24 slices. And now we're going to take the potato tots. And we're just going to open it and put a whole bag on that. Because what you want, you want to make sure every part of the casserole, that's the oven telling me, is ready. Okay, girl. Okay, so make sure you got everything covered. You try to make sure every piece of cheese is covered. You may not get it all, but try your best. Okay. I'm going to try my best. Normally, I have to stand them up, but yeah, this is going to be so good. I haven't had this in a long time, and I was just thinking, I actually seen another content creator make some, but it, hers was a little different, but um, the exact same ingredients, I think. I think she, I don't know what kind of vegetable she used, but green beans is what it called for. Okay, guys, so now we got this all set. Let's 
let's look at it. All set. Now, I don't like that shovel. It's going into the oven. The big oven. See you guys when it comes out. Look at it. Look at them layers. Okay. Okay, guys, it is ready and out of the oven. Sad view. We're gonna tear right off into this. Thank you.